Here is the bike CDI unit. Uh, this is the CDI, which is known as capacitor discharge ignition system. Uh, so this is the most important part of the ignition system in a bike. This is known as, there are two types of CDI actually. Uh, one is known as DC, the other is known as AC CDI. This is AC CDI. AC CDI is operating on alternating current or AC current. And uh, here are the five pins. Uh, just I'm going to demonstrate about the CDI as well as on the, the pin connections. Uh, each and everything I will explain about it. Uh, because this will be in our bike project uh, this whole unit we will fix and there we will connect everything uh, so here I'm going to explain a little bit about this unit here is the plug the five pin plug uh, for this CDI I'm just going to remove it from as you see I just removed it from the CDI and here are the five pins inside you can see we will explain each and every pin and the function and as well as the schematic diagram everything I will draw uh, so these five pins their function I'm just going to explain a little bit so first is what is CDI 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 stands for capacitor discharge ignition system capacitor discharge ignition and uh, there is a capacitor capacitor is some way like this this is a symbol for capacitor and capacitor has a capacity it has a property that it stores charge it stores electricity in the form of charge uh, so capacity is in term of microfarad u mu f it is stated uh, something like one microfarad two microfarad or something like that is the capacity for the capacitor which is used inside the CDI unit. Uh, so what is the phenomena is the capacitor is actually charging is storing a charge that is the voltage applied to the capacitor is somehow 400 volt maximum and then that voltage is that charge is discharged inside the ignition coil. So by this way ignition is occurring in the cylinder or on the spark plug so this is what is a function of a CDI I'm going to draw a little bit schematic diagram so then you will understand well the system uh, first from the charging coil or from the alternator we are just going to start alternator uh, here a 400 volt is generated while the magneto is uh, rotating or revolving on uh, in a bike on this coil so it is producing 400 volt on the maximum rpm of the bike it is producing 400 volt uh, that 400 volt is supplied to a diode here is a diode diode is actually for dc diode okay so diode is making it this ac this is ac actually this ac is applied to the cdi one pin so that is inside the cdi there is a diode which is making this alternating current to dc some way like this and then that dc is pro provided was provided to a capacitor inside the cdi and then there is there's a point in the cdi for the ignition coil and the ignition coil is of course over here just i'm going to show you this is the ignition coil this is the secondary here is the primary here is the secondary and the secondary of the ignition coil is of course connected to the spark plug just i'm drawing the symbol for a spark plug something like this the central electrode is connected to this uh, here this is the spark plug so this capacitor is charged up to 400 volt it is charged through this diode through the coil and then there is for the discharging there is a component used SCR or silicon control rectifier is used one side is grounded one pin and the gate this is anode this is cathode and here is the gate for this SCR here is a resistor and then this is connected to another coil and the other side is grounded which is outside this flywheel or magnet here so while it is rotating it is producing 
a pulse somewhere like this in this coil so that pulse is of low voltage somewhere 4 volt or some 5 volt something like that that is applied to the gate circuit of the SCR where it is needed to fire so while the SCR is fired a current is flown somewhere like this inside the ignition coil and here in the secondary volt secondary side some 40 kilovolt 40 kilovolt is generated which is making the spark inside the cylinder so this is what is the function of the CDI I just explained a little bit hope you will understand you people will understand everything about a CDI now we are coming to our unit the CDI unit which is in my hand this is normally used in um, yeah, Honda as well as uh, in the speed uh, high speed bike something like that these CDIs have been come uh, so these five uh, pin CDIs are common that's why I'm explaining it and the other CDI which is six pin of course I will explain sometime while I will get in some time the explanation of the circuit is the same as uh, for sure here is also a ground um, explanation explanation of the circuit for the five pin or the six pin is the same as I explained over here uh, but the pin connection is a little bit different so then I will draw this CDI pin connection in front of you so here is what I have to draw a little bit diagram for this CDI so here we are encountering to five pins some way like this so the first pin which is over here we can see this is the timing or trigger timing or trigger pin here this is the same as this one as you see this one so from for triggering is provided to the first pin then the second pin which is you can see over here this pin is going to the uh, ignition coil ignition coil okay this pin is the same as over here you can see this one which is going to the ignition coil this pin then later on which is coming is this pin this pin is the ground the system ground which is of course over here you can see this one this one this one this one these all grounds are the same so this is on the ground potential or the body the next pin which is coming over here this is the kill switch what is kill switch is actually this is the key the key switch which is while you are this is normally open circuited while you are providing a key this is open circuit while you are extracting the key or switching it off so the switch is making so while you will provide a ground over here this is some way like this somewhere like this the kill switch so if you provide a ground over here you grounded the voltage the CDI will cut off the power to the ignition coil and no more ignition will occur so this is what is the kill switch function and then next the fifth pin is the power to the CDI power or ignition power to CDI so the this is the same 400 volt point over here as you can see this is this point so this uh, power is provided to the CDI to function so this one is now we are going to I'm going to explain a little bit the wiring or color coding which is of course over here we can see so the first one which is over here this one we can see this is the blue with the white blue plus white blue plus white wire the ground is of course green then the skill switch kill switch we can see wire black with the white black with the white and next is this black with the yellow this one is the ignition coil so ignition coil is over here and then next is this black plus 
ब्लैक प्लस रेड ब्लैक प्लस रेड सो दिस इज द पावर टू द सी डी आई यू कैन सी सो दिस आर द वायरिंग हारनेस दिस वायरिंग हारनेस यू कैन फाइंड इन द सी डी आई सर्किट एनी बाइक यू कैन सी दिस वायरस इफ यू विल सी दिस वायरस मीन टू से इफ यू आर वेल यू आर वर्किंग ऑन अ सी डी आई सिस्टम आर एग्निशन सिस्टम इन अ बाइक यू शुड हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वायर कलर्स सो दैन ईजीली यू विल बी एबल टू गेट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ इफ यू आर गोइंग टू ट्रेवल शूट हाउ यू विल ट्रेवल शूट इज फर्स्ट यू विल कनेक्ट यूर मीटर ब्लैक प्रॉप ओवर हेयर एंड देन यूर रेड प्रॉप शुड गो ओवर हेयर एंड यू शुड चेक फॉर द ए सी वोल्टेज ए सी वोल्टेज वेल यू विल किक यूर बाइक इट शुड प्रोड्यूस समथिंग फिफ्टी वोल्ट ऑन किक ऑन किकिंग एंड वाइल इट इज स्टार्ट इट इट विल गोइंग इट विल बी गोइंग अप टू फोर हंड्रेड वोल्ट मैक्सिमम दिस इज द रेंज Uh, so if this voltage is not you will not be able to find this voltage you should check for your ignition coil or uh, for the magneto or whatever so that the voltage should come to the cdi then the next thing which is to be checked with the oscilloscope you should have to check over here the triggering so with respect to ground you should find something like this triggering so if you are finding like this a uh, 4 volt or 5 volt triggering it means that the triggering is okay this circuit is okay if you are not getting a triggering you should concentrate on this circuit then later on if these two things are available and the ground is there the black and yellow wire is going to the ignition coil as well everything is integrity is good so then probably the ignition uh, the module which is cdi would would be bad so if you by replacing this cdi the ignition system will be corrected again so this is a little bit you know, trouble shooting i just explained hope um, this schematic diagram as well as this cdi connection what i explained will help you while you will be working on some bike thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned subscribe and like